Listen up, class. I need you to join me on my run to London with Digicel. Take a photo of yourself running in one of these poses. To find out more, visit the Digicel Facebook page. Remember, not this pose. This pose is mine. Let me begin my remarks by first thanking the, the government and people of, of Guyana for so willingly hosting this 13th annual Caribbean Conference on Sustainable Tourism Development. I learned to my uh, excitement uh, that this is actually the second time that the conference is being held in Guyana. Just a dozen years after the country hosted the STC4 in 2000. I want to make, make note of the fact that no other CTO member country has done this. We are all very well aware that the world of travel and tourism has changed both dramatically and fundamentally over the past 12 years, not just my head of here. But the fact that Guyana is the first country to welcome back STC is a strong indication in my opinion, that what has not changed is Guyana's commitment to the, to the protection and sustainable use of its natural resources. It is not by accident, therefore, that since STC4, Guyana has emerged as a leader on the world stage in the battle to reduce global carbon emissions. I believe it was the result of a deliberate decision by the leadership of this proud country to stand up and be counted in the global fight against the vast extremes of climate change and, of course, to lead by example. Yes, you can applaud. I, I. With the urgent economic imperatives and critical fiscal challenges confronting our region, Guyana could easily have succumbed to the temptation to expand the extraction of timber and other resources from its vast rainforests for economic gain. But recognizing the long-term negative impact of deforestation, Guyana has been convinced that it ought not to be forced to choose between short-term development priorities and climate change. Even with the scary storm clouds of recession still hovering in our region and the loud, insistent calls including from the IMF and other good friends, that we must get our economic houses in order quickly, the Guyana government still chose to protect virtually its entire 40, millions, 40 million acres of rainforest. This means that approximately 80% of the natural land asset of Guyana is being preserved through deliberate and responsible decision making by its government. It is therefore my pleasure today to add to the global appreciation and applause for the Guyana government and people for placing such high value on your biodiversity conservation, ecosystem management, and climate change adaption efforts. Guyana's initiatives in this regard are yet another example that the Caribbean is not hamstrung by its size and can lead the world. The good news, colleagues, is that Guyana's decision to better manage its vast forest resources and to be responsible in its development strategy is attracting more and more attention from the world of travel and tourism, especially the adventure tourism markets. It's not by accident that we have such a good turnout of the media for this conference this week. It is not by accident that the numbers come into to, to Guyana for adventure tourism is actually moving in the right direction. It is no accident, therefore, that the theme chosen for this year's conference is keeping the right balance, sustaining our resources. The case of Guyana is a clear example that it is our God-given natural assets and our rich cultural heritage that best distinguish the Caribbean from our competitors. 
and that responsible tourism is actually good for business. And with tourism being the leading money earner for so many Caribbean nationals, what this conference theme suggests is that in order to appropriately address the essentials of economic growth and poverty alleviation, we must each adopt a development strategy that is sustainability-based, and Guyana is a leader in that regard. Through the continuity and growth of this conference, CTO has been sending a clear and profound message to our region. Our message is that it is vital that the Caribbean becomes truly dedicated to sustainable tourism practices in order to maximize the economic benefits for all stakeholders, including local communities, businesses, consumers, and governments. It is now well established that tourism growth cannot be sustained unless today's interests are balanced with the vital needs of tomorrow. This is why CTO is playing such a leading role in promoting tourism awareness amongst our people and in establishing minimum standards for preparing and delivering the outstanding natural tourism products of our region. We all need to ensure that locals and visitors alike, for generations to come, can continue to enjoy the red water rivers, spectacular waterfalls, majestic mountains, vast savannas, picturesque landscapes, and indigenous wildlife of the Guyanese interior. Similarly, we need to better appreciate and manage the numerous white, golden, and black sandy island coastlines across our region, and show more respect for the value of the warm Caribbean Sea and its vital marine ecosystems. The healthiness and attractiveness of our forests, coastal zones, and marine ecosystems are major assets in our quest for economic wealth. Let us therefore do whatever is necessary to protect and to manage these same assets. This is why, colleagues, this annual conference focuses on the opportunities and benefits that exist through tourism for the development of our local communities and how to manage the environmental and cultural risks involved. Over the next three days, conference participants will have an excellent opportunity to interact with and challenge some impressive presenters. We will also learn from the exhibitors from across our member countries that are here to share their products and services with us. And most importantly, we will experience the heritage and natural beauty of Guyana through local study tours, and some already began today. I implore participants to take full advantage of the numerous opportunities that this conference presents and to help make this the most successful and satisfying STC ever, through, especially through your own active participation.